If you need a flask that can get through a metal detector, then check this out. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. You're a drinker, and you go through a lot of metal detectors, right? You're sneaking that booze into that stadium you shouldn't be. Well, this Houdini flask by Rabbit, I think they're the same people that make that Rabbit uh, cork remover. But this one is interesting because it's all plastic. But what I liked about this is that I thought it would be, one, easier to fill, but secondly, easier to clean. So let's unbox it and check it out. All right. So as you can see by the picture on the front here, it's not your typical stainless steel curved hip flask. Kind of looks a little bit more like a water bottle. And this is what it looks like. Actually, it's quite a bit bigger than I expected. A lot of these flasks, I will say at least the stainless steel ones that I have gotten in the past, maybe about the same size, but they're probably about half as wide. So we have this plexiglass plastic case right there, which I actually like. Like I said, it's not so much about getting through metal detectors, but I can see through there. And I also feel like it's sturdy. I mean, it feels like it is well made so that it's not going to drop on something and just shatter and break. Then we also have, I assume this is silicone, like this ribbon that goes all the way around there. And it's actually kind of clever because what this does now is if I unscrew this plastic cap up here, that comes off the threadings inside. This ribbon is what holds this on. So there's a little bit of a track in here and it comes all the way over here. So the little caps are often tethered by a little arm. In this case, it's still tethered, but it's going to stay on there nice and tight. There's a little hole right there. Tighten that up. And this will also give it a little protection as well as give it a little grip. So I definitely like that. Now I'm just going to take this off here, off this little hook there, and then off the top there because... Now I think I can just kind of pull this top piece off. And again, I guess this little silicone ribbon that goes all the way around is what holds this top down. So pretty ingenious construction here, but just a little plastic top. You can see we've got the little silicone edges here as gasketing. So I don't think it should leak, but you can see, man, that's actually going to hold quite a bit of stuff. So if I just put this back on like that, obviously that's how we would cap it, but pour a lot in there. And it's going to be a little easier to clean out than a different flask. Not that you're putting different types of things in there. If you're always putting the same whiskey, then it doesn't really matter. But you don't have to use this as a flask. You could just use it like to take along a little water or something like that. Have a little hip flask. Pour yourself a drink of the cool, cool H2O on the trail. So if you are looking for a discreet flask, and this one's called Houdini because it will just disappear then you could pick this up. I really like it because it's innovative and easier to clean and probably easier to take around with you. And especially if you're going to take this out, like at a soccer game or something like that, it doesn't necessarily look like an old school flask where people are like, well, that guy is an alky. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'll put a link to this in the description below, Peter Von Panda.